I am here today to tell you some folklore and stories to celebrate Sussex Day. Sussex Day is traditionally celebrated on the 16th of June and it celebrates the heritage and culture that we'll find in Sussex. Now, why is that the 16th of June? Well, it's, it's because in 1276, St. Richard, who originally lay in a rather unauspicious grave within Chichester Cathedral, was moved to a magnificent crypt there in the cathedral. So it was on that day that he was moved. And so the 16th of June is used to celebrate Sussex Day. My second story for Sussex Day is all about St. Cuthbert. This is about the origins of Stenning Church in Sussex. Now, St Cuthman, obviously wasn't always called St Cuthman, however, he was always quite saintly in his behaviour and it was said that there was something about him which was closer to God than most people. For example, when he was a shepherd in the fields, he could draw a circle around the sheep and call on Jesus to keep those sheep protected. And they were. So St. Cuthman was, shall we say, a little bit special. Now, when his father died, unfortunately it left him and his mother destitute and with no money. His mother was unable to walk and therefore unable to work, and Cuthman could not get work where he was. So he decided that he and his mother would take a trip across Sussex and see if they could find food and shelter along the way and perhaps even a job for Cuthbert. In order to do this, he put his uh, mother in a wheelbarrow and he roped himself to the wheelbarrow and he started to walk and make his way across Sussex. Now along the way he caused quite a stir because this must have been quite a sight. His mother was quite comfortable and it was quite arduous work for Cuthbert. And as he passed a field, which was full of farmers collecting in their crops. Unfortunately, one of the ropes broke. And so Cuthman used some twigs, perhaps willow or hazel, and wrapped them up to make some rope uh, out of the twigs. The farmers thought this was absolutely hilarious and laughed at him and told him so. Cuthman did not pay any attention and instead he carried on on his journey, pulling the wheelbarrow with his mother in it with his half rope, half twig harness. That day, there was some very inclement weather, some heavy rain which flattened the farmer's crops. When the rope broke again, Cuthman decided that this would obviously be a sign from God, and so therefore wherever it broke, he would build a church. It happened that the rope broke next in Stenning, and rather unceremoniously, it tipped up the wheelbarrow and his mother fell out of the wheelbarrow. And so it was there that he built the church in Stenning. 